Good morning, church. Reading in Matthew 11. When Jesus had finished giving these instructions to his 12 disciples, he went out to teach and preach in towns throughout the region. John the Baptist, who was in prison, heard about all these things the Messiah was doing. So he sent his disciples to ask, Are you the Messiah we've been expecting, or should we keep looking for someone else? Okay, I'm just going to read those verses, which actually are uh, verses um, 1 through 3 of Matthew 11. And uh, just remind you, as we look back in the scriptures and know that John the Baptist uh, baptized Jesus at the beginning of his ministry time, the Holy Spirit affirmed that Jesus was the Messiah as he approached John and affirmed it after the baptism by the descent of the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. John himself made that declaration as Jesus came to him, if you remember reading there in the beginning of the Gospel of John, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And then John the Baptist stated that God had told him, The one I see, the the dove coming down upon, is the one. So John had absolutely affirmation that Jesus was it. But as time goes on, you know, and as we are doing our own thing and we're not near one another, so to speak. So Jesus went on doing his ministry. John was doing his ministry somewhere else, actually was arrested and put in prison. And it's there in prison where he is facing the end of his life that he wants some affirmation. Now, this is not a slight in any way to John the Baptist. What it is, I I, I want you to hear this and understand. It's a word of encouragement to us. There will be moments when we're going through difficult times where the temptation to doubt or question or wonder will arise. It does. That doesn't mean you don't have faith in Jesus. It doesn't mean you don't believe what you've been taught. It's a moment where we actually are affirming what we believe and what we know. And at these times, you know, it's it's important for us to recall and remember the affirmations of God that we have seen, the truth of the gospel that we've experienced So our flesh, when we're facing the end or difficulties or tragedies and different seasons of our life, there will be a temptation to doubt. So I want you to know that not only did Jesus affirm who he was, but he will do that for you. I want you to know today that God has asked me to give you this message and let you know Jesus is who he says he is who you've believed he is no matter what you're facing today Jesus Christ is the savior of the world and you must know him and hold on to your faith God bless you let's be his church